primary reason we went there, and, or what we were told, was that there was concern about the domino theory, that if South Vietnam fell to the communists, then the communists would start to take over all parts of Asia and, and the Orient, one by one. Um, I think the reason we got into the conflict well, the reason that the Congress allowed uh, the president to send troops over there was a, uh, an incident in the, the Gulf of Tonkin. There was uh, one of our ships was attacked by a North Korean ship. And uh, I don't remember, I think it was Gulf of Tonkin resolution. But being in the military, you, you, you kind of just thought that, you know, it, it was the thing to do. Uh, the conflict was there and we were trying to resolve it. I, I don't know. I, I know that a lot of people felt badly about it. There was supposed to, there was some, um, some concern from the people here who thought that the, the soldiers who were over there didn't do their job. It's, you know, like America never lost the war before Vietnam, and then they came back from Vietnam, and we really hadn't won, and, and there was a, a dislike for them. But I never had that attitude. I just, and, and I was surprised that, that anyone would have it. It was just that, well, you did a job you were supposed to do, and then when you were done, they, you were done. I think uh, there were a lot of protests. The, the one that I remember was at uh, Kent State, I believe. And I don't know if there was one or two there, but one or two students, I, I, I don't remember the exact number, were killed by the uh, National Guard that were in place. Brother got drafted uh, while he was still in college and he applied for a kind of a deferment and they, they said no. So he enlisted, I guess, and he enlisted in the Navy and the Navy allowed him to finish his master's degree. And then he went in after that and spent, that was Joe, your uncle Joe. He spent mm -hmm. about, I think it was about a year and a half on an aircraft carrier off Vietnam. Uh, the Tet Offensive at the Viet, North Vietnamese and the Viet Cong started, and I forget what year that was in, but that must have been pretty close to to the end of the war within the last year or two. Yeah. And although they would come in and, I guess, attack the towns or the areas and take them, then our forces would drive them back. And all we knew was that they would be driven back, you know, and we didn't really know how bad it was until the very end when you saw people scrambling to get out of uh, South Vietnam.